What's up, Internet? Are you a nerd? Do you want to make some spare cash? Well, I, I found this thing recently called Nerd App, and uh, it's pretty cool. You can make like $44 an hour um, sitting at your desk, helping people remotely with their IT problems. However, the jobs are sparse. Like, you got to be waiting for it to come in and click on it as soon as it pops up. So I found this recently. I wanted to share it with you guys. Let's get right into it. Okay, we got a job. We got a job here. Let's see, trackpad on Dell XPS 9700 is no longer working. So I'm gonna try to click accept on here as fast as I possibly can. We'll see if we can get a hold of this job. Looks like we got it. So we open up with a chat log here. Please be sure the customer is ready before you start. Call them and chat to communicate. Hi, Luke. When are you available for me to work on this job? All right, so from here on out, I'm going to put on my happy, my happy uh, customer service voice. Hi, Luke. Uh, yes, um, from Nerd App, correct? Yes. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, so, uh, I would like to connect to your computer. Um, okay. Have you ever used the Nerd app before, Luke? No. Okay, uh, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and start this job officially. Okay. And now I'm going to send a request for remote access to your computer. Is it on right now? Yep. Okay. Okay, you should have a request for remote access coming in. Um, it's yep. going to ask you to download and open a file, and it will probably request uh, permissions to make changes to your machine. You're just going to want to hit yes on that. Okay. That's so that I can uh, view your screen and uh, take control of your computer for this session. Yep. So I see you're having issues with your trackpad. Is that correct? Correct. Is it completely unresponsive? Yes. Okay. When did this start? Um, yesterday. Okay. Any changes that you're aware of that were made to the computer? No, none. Okay. Just, it was it randomly in the middle of working or was it after coming back from a break or, or a restart or something? It was after my wife looked at a single video. Okay. Uh, one. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm connecting now. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Um, so there may be uh, a couple things. There, there are a couple things I can check on the software side. Um, since you're there in person, uh, I may ask you to check some things on the hardware side. Um, sure. Just, uh, just, just to be safe. I'm gonna cover all of our bases. Um, have you examined the keyboard and checked for any buttons that may activate or deactivate the trackpad? Yeah, I, I tried, um, I tried the right, you know, um, uh, F, F key, uh, keys that control the trackpad and that didn't seem to fix the problem. Okay. What, uh, is there an indicator light on that button or, uh? No. Okay. So it's just zero, zero change there. Yeah. Okay. The fact that it happened in the middle uh, of the day makes me uh, suspicious of any hardware, hardware fixes. Were there any USB devices plugged in or unplugged? Um, any changes yeah. made on that, in that end of it? Okay. You yeah. all, do you normally use the trackpad uh, in your day-to-day -day work of the computer? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I, updated the drivers on what you're looking at under uh, yeah. biometric devices. Oh yeah, under biometrics. Yeah, that would be uh, your fingerprints uh, reader. It, oh, that's all that is? Yeah, what we're looking at, what we want to do is uh, human interface devices. In the past, I've had to jump onto uh, TeamViewer with uh, with customers. So if, okay. you're, if you're comfortable with that, we could do, do it that way. That might be better. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. So you may see um, 
permissions request pop up now, a black screen uh, oh, yeah. user account control. That's something only you can see. Uh, I can't I can't uh, click on that. So okay. if you, you could click yes on that, that would be good. After we're done for the day, uh, you can hit this little refresh arrow to create a new password, um, just to make sure that your computer is secure. <laughs> That's always a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of research. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these Windows updates to your computer. Um, okay. So I will stay on the phone with you. I'll mute myself, um, and when your uh, when your computer comes back up and you're able to sign in, if you could let me know, and we will restart the Team Viewer session. Okay, well then. Okay, thanks, Luke. So I put the job on hold. I typed a little note, look up some more info. I don't want to waste his time since I'm not sure exactly even how to find which uh, which driver is for the mouse or for the trackpad. All right, well, let's hope this Dell uh, firmware does the trick then because, uh, yeah, short of short of uh, fixing it with driver fixes, um, the best solution would be to, to contact Dell at that point. Um, is this computer under warranty by any chance? No. Okay. And just so you know, Luke, I'm going to put your job on hold again since I'm not working on your issue right now. Appreciate it. I like to take very good notes because I want people that come after me to be able to know what happened. And if if the customer ever pushes back on, you know, the the charge for the job, uh, Nerd App will stick up for me. Basically, they'll they'll look at the notes and they'll say, "Oh, it looks like he did this and he did that," and you know, uh, they'll have something to, to to defend me with. If I don't tell them what I did, I don't do anything, then they don't know if I did anything, so. So we tried a system file checker scan. Um, it did find some errors and, and correct them. Uh, we also tried a, a registry change um, with, the, with the way the system is registering the input from the trackpad. So we'll see if either of those will fix the issue here. Okay. Apparently, uh, it's, it seems like it's more common uh, with Windows 11? When did you upgrade to Windows 11? Uh, a few months ago. Okay. So, I mean, if this is a big enough issue for you, potentially um, a solution other than, you know, <laughs> contacting Dell and trying to get them to fix it or replace the computer is just going back to Windows 10. Obviously, that's it's completely up to you if, if it's worth it to you to do that. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the process I would do. I, I would manually back that stuff up, just in okay. case, and then uh, and then yeah, run that installation uh, media from the flash drive. Cool. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your help. Um, you're really quick on this stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, Wish me luck. Yes, I absolutely do. Sorry, uh, sorry, there's not more I could do for you right now. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I, I really appreciate you jumping on this and um, take it easy. Okay, thanks. Have a great rest of your day, Luke. All right, take it easy. Bye bye. Bye. Actually, um, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the job. Um, if you don't mind, if you could also uh, mark the job as complete, that would help me out a, a ton. Yeah, and if there's uh, any um, opportunity to um, put in a positive comment, I'll definitely do that. Thank you very much. Yeah, you should have that option here in just a second. I'm just going to leave some some thorough notes just in case anyone follows up on this and has questions. Uh, I want to make sure they know what I did to try to resolve the issues. So I'll add my notes in here. I'll mark the job complete, and then you'll have an opportunity to mark it complete yourself and leave a rating if you'd like. Yeah, I, I definitely will. Okay. Thanks, thanks again, Vince. Okay, thanks very much, Luke, and have a great day. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was, a, that was a long job, and I'm not satisfied because I didn't fix the issue, but it is what it is. That's the platform. Um, like I said, I like doing that kind of thing. Sometimes I get scared because I think, <laughs> like, in that case, I didn't actually fix that guy's problem and he could have been very upset and said you know i'm not gonna pay or whatever and then i would have been out uh, half an hour 
for an hour or whatever. I didn't even charge him the full time, you know, I kept pausing and starting the job. So like, I just get nervous sometimes that people are gonna be upset if I don't actually fix their issue. Um, so this is what it looks like, uh, awaiting final sign off. Um, so anyway, that's Nerd App. It's, it's fun, I like it. It's hard to get the jobs, as you saw when I started recording, like I literally clicked as fast as I was allowed to. You get 20 seconds to read the job and they make you wait those 20 seconds because they want you to know that you can actually accomplish the job. So um, yeah, I get to rate him as well as a customer. I would say five stars. Mm, nice guy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I've made what a uh, hundred bucks on this app so far. 100, oh, 129. You know, for a couple hours of work, which is not bad. Anyway, um, if you like IT, if you work in IT, or you, you like troubleshooting, you like customer service, this is something you could do. I would not recommend that as a full-time job. You could probably only get four or five jobs a day if you're sitting staring at your computer uh, for eight hours. Um, and yeah, I don't think that I don't think that justifies working from home or full-time income. So, um, but it's fun. It's fun for spare time. It's fun to do. I'm, I'm studying. I'm doing my homework. I'm watching it at the same time. So. You know, it's a fun little side gig. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, a little preview, a little uh, insight into Nerd App. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.